So let's kick off with the first slide of the day. Data released um, over the European session. What's caught your attention this morning? OK, well, uh, in terms of uh, data today, we've had the uh, producer price index or PPI uh, from Germany. This is the August number. We look here at the year on year figure uh, that came in uh, minus 1.7 percent. Uh, that was below the forecast of a fall of minus 1.5 percent and sharply below the prior read of minus 1.3 percent. So producer price index, just to, to avoid any confusion, that's a, a measure of, if you like, factory gate inflation, uh, what people are paying, what producers are paying for goods and services and what prices they might be leaving their premises at. Um, so uh, it's not a surprise that we've seen a declining uh, uh, side to this, this, this part of inflation, um, but it must be slightly depressing for the ECB. Uh, they can do nothing about this, it would appear. QED. Deflation. Well, that's it. I mean, it's you know, potentially good for consumers in the short term, but it's no good if uh, if this sort of thing becomes entrenched, as we've mm. seen in Japan. It's almost impossible to squeeze it out of the system if it does. Um, but there was some brighter news for the Eurozone uh, in the form of Spain's trade balance for August came in at a deficit of minus 1.4 billion euros, sharply down from uh, the prior month in July's 2.05 billion uh, euros. So uh, Spain's going, you know, moving ever closer to having a, a balanced economy. Surplus. Yeah, and yes, and then ultimately a surplus. Yes, which would be which would be great news considering you know how far down uh, they were, you know how close they were to a formal bailout, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, only a few years ago. And the week ahead. Well, uh, things to flag uh, for people's attention whilst we're off air. Uh, on Wednesday, uh, we've got the Purchasing Managers Index from Germany, um, which is a measure of uh, factory industrial production um, just you know a real clue as to how well the underlying economy is doing We've also got the same data from France and the wider eurozone and the number that I shall be watching closely will be French GDP uh, figures for the second quarter because obviously France has been to some extent the sick man of Europe mm. over the last two or three months um, so we'll, we'll be, be interesting to see, see. A, a read there and then on Thursday uh, quite a lot of Italian data coming out but the two numbers that caught my eye uh, industrial orders for July and uh, retail sales for July and between those two you get a real flavour of how uh, the, the Italian economy is actually doing. Understood.